How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. Welcome to this special request RPG Maker Envy tutorial. This is for Slice and Dice Gaming. He says, can you please make a Yanfly item menu categories tutorial? I can't get it to work. Thanks. And I responded with, yes. Okay, so quick tutorial because this isn't super hard to do, right? Um, get the plugin. I'll put a link in the description below where you can download that plugin. You want to put it into your... Uh, I guess I'll start from the beginning in case you have... If you're having trouble with this, you probably need to know all this stuff. So we go game open folder you're going to download and save the uh, plugin into the js plugins folder right here right in there and just save it right there and then once you've done that it should update here and just hit save if it doesn't and then you go to your uh, plugin manager and you want to go down to your items core it goes directly under items core well let's see if you have other things you know like attach augments and stuff i think that would go above it but it's just like that. As long as it's underneath the item core, because you see how it has an X on it, that means it's extension of item core, and it needs another plugin to run. So it, make sure that the item core goes wherever your plugins are set up. You don't have to use all these plugins, but if you have to use this one, and then this has to go underneath it. All right, let's look at the plugin real quick. This category is going to be the category order is going to be the main thing you're going to be using. That's going to control your um, like everything that's going to possibly be showed. Um, so I've only added one thing in here. So from default, it's going to say items, weapons, armors, key items. But if you want to add your own categories, you have to just type in category, colon, the name of your category. It's arbitrary, put whatever you want. And uh, then you reference this in a note tag on the item. So to make this very easy for you to understand, leave everything alone. right? And then you change it if you want to. You can always get a quick description and also look into the help file if you want more information. Usually you just gotta do some reading and a little bit of research to figure out everything. So this is a simple plugin, really. You uh, put it in the right spot and make sure it has all its dependencies like the core engine and the item core. And then you pick the names that you wanna use for your categories. Like for me, I wanna create another category called crafting. You don't want a bunch. I highly recommend you only use this to either take out categories or add a couple of your own or a combination of taking the couple of them out and then adding a couple of your own because you have too many categories it's like what's the point right you have unless you're doing like some sort of pack rat hoard, item hoarding game but that could get kind of monotonous so the fewer the better probably so we're gonna add one categories crafting just follow me like that go through this help file if you have time just to, to glance over it it's pay a special attention to when you see uh, examples like for example boom like this is the stuff you want for example whenever Yanfly is referencing for example he's like hey do it like this because this is the way I've uh, made the pro I've made it so the plugin looks specifically for this you know um, so what we're going to be doing is adding menu category and we're going to be replacing X with the name we, that we were uh, picking which is called crafting so that's it once you've done that, you've put in the name of your, your thing. Also, you can change the order, right? If you want the crafting to go first, you just put it above it, and it stacks it. This will be the top thing, and this will go underneath it and underneath it, and just like that. So once you've got the plug-in stuff set up, all you have to do is uh, categorize your items. So go to your items, wherever you want, and then add a, a, plug, um, a note tag to that right there. So I'm saying menu category, colon, and I'm referencing the same thing that I put inside the menu. Right, so I'm going to show you a test. On iron ore, I don't have that note tag, okay? But on bronze ore, I do have that. I know there's no such thing as bronze ore, whatever, get over it. That's a fantasy game. Menu categories crafting on bronze ore, and, and, but not on iron ore, okay? But I'm giving myself one of each. So I'm going to jump into the game here and show you what happens with uh, the, the items you would normally get and the items that are when set up uh, properly, how it would look. Okay, ignore that. Ignore all of this. So items, we got one bronze ore, we got one iron ore. I already set it up in auto run, so I get that. Um, but if you notice, we have items, weapon, armor, and then a new one, crafting. And we've got bronze ore in this crafting one, right? But why is an iron ore in that? Well, because it doesn't have the note tag. So that may be why it's not working for you. So make sure you have the note tags. So quick recap, we're gonna finish it up. This plug, uh, you know, I can't make this video 10 minutes, no way. So we're gonna make this a short one. Uh, bronze ore one, iron ore one. Um, it shows uh, the bronze ore inside of the crafting category because we've got menu category crafting right there. But we also had to tell the plugin parameters to look for that and place it in a specific spot. So the final recap, going over this one last time in your item categories plugin, make sure you include category 
colon crafting no spaces right that's all one word so it doesn't confuse the plugin that's pretty much it uh, hopefully this uh, tutorial was helpful to you guys if you did smash a like button share this with somebody who you think it might be helpful for thank you guys so much for watching thank you to all my patreon supporters i love you guys we'll see you guys in the next tutorial bye bye